I work with a, a species called speckled trout, or also called um, spotted sea trout. And uh, it's uh, distributed from Virginia to the U.S. and Mexico border. And since Virginia is at the uh, northern distributional limit and it experienced the coldest winter throughout its range, and in some years there are massive mortality events from the cold winters um, in Virginia. Under climate change, um, fish populations are pro projected to migrate northwards. And by understanding what the cold tolerance of speckled trout is, it can help us better project um, the future distributions of the species. And the recent studies have shown there are actually two genetically distinct populations on the U.S. East Coast, the northern population and the southern population. So by understanding what's maintaining this population structure, we can also get a better understanding of what this species might do um, in response to a changing climate. So my research um, has a two, compo two components. One is the genetic part and a physiology part. The genetics part, I'm uh, using high throughput sequencing to look at the underlying genetic differences between the two populations and uh, looking for any genes and lo loci that are differentiating them. For physiology, I'm looking at, I'm using respirometry to look at their uh, whole organism performance uh, level by um, oxygen consumption, standard metabolic rate differences. Yeah, and also I work with a recreational fisherman, um, Sheldon Ira, to um, get on his boat and fish for speckled trout uh, myself and experience the life history of speckled trout on the water firsthand. Oh, that's great. <laughs>